Blog Talk Radio. p.m. It's the 3rd of uh, June, and what an exciting show we have lined up for you today. Better oral sex is uh, kind of what we're getting into for guys and for girls. I've got a lot of special guests, believe it or not, lined up for this 30-minute show. I'm very, very excited to bring to you, and uh, I'm expecting uh, Jesse Hart here in a little bit, and then I've got a special birthday girl who's going to be calling in today, so that should be exciting, and uh, we'll get right to it. Jesse, is that you? It is. Knock, knock. Amazing. I'm so excited. This is our last mm-hmm. last 30-minute show, probably, and then we're going to jump into full shows next week, which should be cool. And um, I got a lot of feedback when we brought up today, I mean, obviously because the show topic uh, raised a lot of eyebrows and people thought it was going to be really disgusting and things like that. It's really not. I'm, I'm sure there'll be some perverted jokes here and there. but your maturity level, let's put it that way. (laughs) (laughs) This is true. So I'm going to kick it off because I've got a birthday guest calling in at 10.05, and uh, it's her birthday tomorrow, so she's going to call in, and that's that's awesome. But I'm going to kick it off since we only have 30 minutes left and kind of address the guy side of things. And if you are a guy and you, you know, enjoy getting head, as we all do, or, or getting oral, is it might more appropriately be called Palacio, if you're a doctor. Right? Palacio, yes. Then, you know, do yourselves a favor, guys, and excuse the phrase clean clean your dick, clean your junk, clean your stuff up. Manscaped. And Manscaped one of the best one of the best ways that you can do that is to at a very minimum trim any type of pubic hair that you have or um, go as far as even shaving it, because the hair that you do have, even if you're scrubbing, is going to hold any of those scents and things that uh, are in there. And it's, it's, so if you have a lot of smell coming from there, you're naturally very sweaty down there. That's one way to, way to resolve it rather quickly. Um, the second you know, thing I, is if you – oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, like, with the whole manscaping thing, sometimes shaving isn't always the greatest either, because when it starts to grow back, it's um, kind of uncomfortable on a girl. <laughs> It's almost like it's, very it's really rough. So, yeah. would you recommend more trimming then? I would take a nice short trim any day. All right. So there you have it from from a female. Definitely uh, trim it, keep it clean, guys. And um, I see that we have a, a bunch of other callers calling in. We are going to get to you. Uh, I just I want to get down with the first ten minutes of going over the guy stuff and then girl stuff for five six minutes, and we'll get to your calls as quickly as we can. The other thing, guys, if you enjoy a woman uh, enjoying you and and let's just be blunt swallowing or tasting you, ways you can make it taste better, and there are a ton of them, and some of them are are, are remiss and some of them are true. One of them that's absolutely true is pineapple juice. You can drink pineapple Mm -hmm. juice or um, anything that's really, really sweet. And just know that your diet is clearly reflected in what's coming out. So if you're eating jalapenos and garlic and things the day before, that's what she's going <clears> to <throat> taste. And it's got about a, a 24, 32-hour turnaround on it. So I'm going to go to the full line. Very oh, go ahead. I'm going to open up to 864. You're on the air with Dr. John. All right, we're going to let that one go. And then the next one is, uh, I'm guessing, our birthday guest. It very well could be. And I'm going to see, is this you, Cheryl? Yes, this is. Happy birthday early. That is awesome. I know. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, So, just what... Do you have any other any other tips that you would have for guys? Because obviously you have much more experience with oral to guys than than I would. Wow, thank you. <laughs> um, well, for like.
like from the girl's standpoint to the guy or the guy's standpoint to the girl? Like, okay, I, I just I want to put myself in the place. I want to put myself in the place of being a woman. And as a woman, when you're giving, giving head, because I'm going to go over the size of the men, what it's like for a man going down on a woman. What I'd like you to do is kind of go over and say, you know, what, would, what parts make it disgusting? What can a guy do better to be more, to make it a more enjoyable experience for a woman? Um, can I be blunt? Be That's blunt. That's what the show's like for. Honestly, it's the best possible. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, to be honest, I, clean under the sack, you know. Um, and the cheese. Make sure it don't stink too much. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> the ball cheese. It's really not good on toast. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. I, you know, I mean, I like cheese. I just don't like cheese that much. So mm-hmm. make sure it's clean because, to me, going down on a guy is a very pleasurable experience. And mm-hmm. I don't want to have to it or deal with it or anything like that. So, And I think I think girls will be shocked, too, because... I, I think we're going to mix it up because I think that's just kind of how the show is going to go today. So instead of separating it, I'll just go into the man's perspective of going down on a woman. And I, I'm sure ladies have had this as well, but there's been some women where I've gone to go down there and I've heard horror experiences from other girls too. And I don't know how they don't know that they have that amount of, of smell coming out of them or something because it very much seemed like it had to be – I don't know, a yeast infection or something, because it was just, it was worse <laughs> than a cat box. It was like a cat well, box that would sat in a moldy yeah. fridge or something. Yes, and, yes, um, yes. yeah, so one of the things we I were going to address is pH today um, for women and men. And, Jesse, were you going to cover the uh, pH for women? I would love to, because proper internal pH is like, you know, the the mix between acidic and what is the other end of the range there? I yeah, base, bases and acids, yep. Yep, and yep. it's got to be like 4.2 to 5, but I'm sure we're not going to take any kind of um, tester and, and test it so it's proper. But, um, yeah, we, we always got to make sure that we are clean down there every day. Scrub. You know them little scrubbies that you your shower scrubbies? I always call them a crotch scrubber. Uh, it's yeah, just, you can get yeah. You can just get right on in there and, and stay trimmed. You know, it's not the age of the Russian hat anymore. Nobody really likes likes that, and like John said, it holds a lot of odor and um, secretions, whatever the case may be, and when it's locked up in your underwear, it smells. <laughs> yeah. um, well, and especially, you, I mean, mean it be, I, you, Huh? Sorry. No, you go ahead. Oh, no, that's okay. I was going to say, if need be, you know, they have that, what, that I always would say, pussy deodorant, FDS or whatever it's called. If you have to use the extra, go the extra length. Douche, although I don't recommend it because that's actually not very healthy because it strips your insides of the natural bacteria that it needs to have in there to keep yourself healthy. You know, it, it takes it all away. But if you must, then, you know, go with a, a natural type of douche <clears throat> um, and don't do it very often. And if you have your period, please take extra care. <laughs> yeah, because I, I would fully second that. And I would say, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, ladies or, or guys, if you have a significant other or a partner in your relationship and you've been hinting for them to go down there and they're not going down there, there's probably a very, very good reason why. Because I, I think most people enjoy, you know, giving others pleasure and doing that. I know, you know, I would totally be on base with that. I have no problem going down on somebody but if if the house isn't in order, I'm not coming in. I'm staying far, far away. Right. So, and I, and I think for guys, we have an unfair advantage. I, well, maybe women have it too, because women right. can kind of no, you know touch I it and see it and see if they smell anything on their hands. But I know for guys, literally, you could just check the oil, and if the oil's funky, you don't. You, I don't go down there. But that's that's oh, well, just me. Well, chicks, you know, it's kind of different with us because ours is more internally um, localized, yeah. and sometimes you know. We can't always we can't always tell unless you know you're taking care of your your essentials there. But um, you know a lot of things can change in a woman's psychology or makeup. You know it could be that time of the month. It could be stress. It could be yeah. hormonal changes. I know like when 
um, beginning stages of pregnancy can cause a lot of women to um, have bacterial vag vaginosis or um, a yeast infection because of the different hormone changes that their body's going through. Vitamins can even do that. And I, I think just really quickly, this is like, partner. this is maybe three points off base, but I want to touch on it anyway because I've had just a handful of, of female friends that just don't understand this. If you were not a frequent bathroom user as a woman and all of a sudden you are going pee all the time, it may be you're not pregnant, but you've got a UTI, so definitely get in yeah. the doctor. It's get very simple. Right. Get yourself checked out for a urinary tract infection and see if there's maybe that, something that is, going on there. Um, can you spread that? Is that correct? You can spread UTIs or, or I know you can yeah, with yeast infection. It's most commonly spread by the male, but the male normally doesn't notice that he even has it. Or okay. it's also most commonly spread by frequent sex. With by frequent parts. sex? Yeah, it's, it's most commonly uh, spread by frequent sex. Or um, women that are pregnant, sometimes they've never had a UTI, they will tend to get them during pregnancy. So. Oh, let me get some real quick here. All right. Um, we're going to bring on another special guest if we can here. I don't know if they really plan on speaking, but we'll at least say hi to them. Uh, Don, are you there? Yes, I am. Hey, Don. And, uh, Don hey. Hi, Don. One hi. of my very special night flirt friends. Yeah. I know. You must be feeling really good, Don. You're on here with three women. I am, but you know what, it, right at my back door in the chat room, I've got gunslingers saying things like, eating pussy is oh, an art by sense. itself, and always take the oh, taste test. Is, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, so I think we'll let the ladies go first, because I uh, went first on a bunch of the other stuff. So if I mean, everybody, anybody can chime in at any time, whoever wants to go first. What, as a woman, what advice can you give to a man about going down on you, and what what would make it more enjoyable for you? What can we do for you? Pay hey, attention. You know, because I think <laughs> right. a lot of chicks are afraid. I think a lot of chicks, though, are afraid, though, to speak up and say something. They're just sitting there going, oh, you know, um, and making an ugly yeah, face. Yeah, well, definitely. Everybody, you know, honesty with your partner is, is key. Because if he doesn't know that he's doing something wrong, how is he going to know unless you tell them? You know, he can't fix exactly. the problem. He doesn't know that he so has. You know, no, I, mean, I, I don't think that goes hand in hand for men, men too. That exactly. Well, that you know, you need to speak it's not up. Hard to and, and, though, really. No, I have to do the so don't, lie, on it, like, <laughs> <laughs> don't bite. Don't bite. Oh yeah, don't, don't bite. Oh God, bite. no. And and, and whatever nibble, you do, no, nibbling is okay you. though. Just light nibbling, no biting. No. Yes. A, a lot and of people no, swear by the. <laughs> Don't Swear by doing the alphabet forth, with like your a, tongue. Would you guys say tool. that that doing the alphabet with your tongue is the way to go, you know, because it's a, an all-over different motion, or what? Have you guys noticed He's any gotta, pattern that, that works? I don't know. I, I would say you kind of got to utilize all your tools. <laughs> you utilize you all your tools. Out. <laughs> I'm going to stay with the alphabet because I know a lot of people... Hands. You know, a lot of people swear by it, and it's, it seemed to work for me. So I'm I'm gonna stick with spelling yeah, now for that. ABC, yeah, Gunslinger it's, it's Two is saying he he always does the alphabet. He oh, okay. What do you what is this alphabet thing? Tell me. Please. This is where yeah, this is like the guy's right. secret. They always talk about in high school in locker rooms that okay. when you're going down on a woman, you're supposed to take mm -hmm. your tongue and spell alphabet letters, or just trace the letters of the alphabet over her clit and along her walls. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. Almost like washing your hands. Well, you start with only A and then did that, you. that'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. You just got to keep in a, in a nice, I don't know, start, you got to keep a rhythm, I guess. And when you notice that yeah. it's working, don't stop. <laughs> don't that stop. okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know, after a half hour, <laughs> my tongue ladies. always hurts. I'm like, oh, my tongue hurts. <laughs> And really, you uh, don't. I don't know about you, ladies, but long. me. You don't. Hmm? Yeah, but me on my on my side, me. I prefer that you know, not not completely, but if a guy pays a little bit of special attention to the clit, just a little bit more, it's gonna go but not like too a much. long. It's, 
not too much, but just a little bit right. more. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, a little bit more attention than he does to the rest of it. The, yeah. You know, I mean, what can I say? It's a trigger. So, for me, at least, you're, it's, you're I don't know. Well, I think you just hit on a big thing, yeah, because I think guys are under the misconception that it's all clip-based when you're, when you're no. No, no, giving no. oral. Okay. And I, I think a lot of guys are also afraid to explore other areas down there as well. Um, yeah. I don't know. There's so with other like areas, you saying like below? Oh, I'm saying the hook. You know, you, okay. you can always use fingers, and you have two other spots to put them. So you know. Uh, thank you. Exactly. You got them. two hands. Use them. <laughs> you know. And so you're saying be an explorer uh, and go down there and just be open you know, to exploring. A chick, chick might say, "Oh my gosh, no! Don't stick anything in my in my butt." But you know, a finger never hurts nobody, and she'll love it. No matter what she says. Yep. That's true. Wow. That's true. So for guys, John, is that true? A little hook action is never um, unallowed or what? <laughs> are you are you saying I on women or on men? No. no, on men. I've heard mixed stories, but I think I think I when people actually get down to it, I think that they allow it behind closed doors is what I would think. Right. And I think they secretly enjoy it, correct? I think so. Yep. I think they do. Okay. I think everybody's got a little bit of buy in them, and I don't care who argues with me. <laughs> um, okay. All right. If you oh, want to watch has. some educational sex videos or videos about different things that we didn't get into today, we uploaded about 11 to 12 different ones that you can get at thegigapig.com, and you want to click on the videos tab, and then you're going to see my favorite one, and I hope everybody goes down, especially probably if you're women, and grab uh, the video on the right-hand side with the girls in the two blue shirts that says sexual position. It was a really good video, and I thought it was really upfront and honest, kind of like our show. Uh, we got to do a very brief break here for a commercial, and we're also going to let uh, Dawn see if she can get her website out, and then we'll be right back. Hey, my name's Courtney, and you're listening to The Dr. John Show on Blog Talk Radio. Very sexy. All right, I hope you liked our commercial because Blog Talk Radio deleted our commercial that we were going to play right there. So uh, I will mention Amazon. They're our sponsor for our website, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know. And, um, Don, did you want to give out the link to your site at all? I didn't know if you wanted to. Yeah, um, www.nightflirt.com uh, backslash Don12. Outstanding. Sweet. That's awesome. Let's check it out. I think Gunslinger, he's, he, you know, you're always in here and you're always kind of revved up. I think you should shoot over to Dawn and let her, let her get a wrangle on that or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. What else are we going to cover today? I don't know. But I'm just happy to be here again. I've missed you terribly. I have missed Everybody you more. Else? I don't think so. I think you're you just saying so? that. Trying to butter me up. Yeah, I'm trying to butter me up. I don't mind buttering you up at all. I would do that all day, every day, unpaid. Awesome. Just compliment <laughs> after <laughs> compliment. And I don't think all I All right, let's see here. There, I don't know if I want to go into that part of it. Uh, what? Go into it. That's what we're here for. Okay, right? so we went, we went into how to kind of go great. down better on a woman and I feel bad because you guys had other women to kind of ping off of and mm -hmm. I really think that we should get Gunslinger's opinion so that there's two men okay. kind of giving his point of view. So Gunslinger, if you can either call in, you can do so at uh, air code 909-533-8302 or in the chat room, just let us know what makes a good blowjob for men. And I'll try and give you know, kind of my perspective and then you can give well, yours. I hey, hang on here on for a second. Oh. I do actually have a friend that would like to call in and give his opinion from the guy's awesome. side. And yeah. um, Lincoln, please call on in. Um, the number is 909-533-8302. And hopefully he'll give his opinion on the guy's side. That yeah, I know awesome. one couple things, you know, you don't have to spend all night down there just to try and get something accomplished is another exactly. thing. Sometimes they, 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 they won't come up until they, like, did their job, and that's not always <laughs> necessary. It's just a part of the whole process, 
And, and guys, <laughs> you know, a little warning before um, you blow your load is always nice, too. Very much. Oh, uh, okay. So I think, yeah, because, I mean, if we're, if, I mean, usually we know when it's coming, but, you know, it's out of respect, you know. Come on. Okay, and, well, can I just, can I just say this because it's, right it's my number one. Because... Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say my number one pet peeve that women do is the, like, stroke across the tip to see if there's, like, pre-cum there when they're, like, in the middle of everything else. So, oh, if, like, God, if you're a woman listening, that it puts, like, extreme wow. pressure on, like, oh, my God, now she's checking. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It feels like a kitchen no. timer. All right. Uh, we're going to go oh, with seriously, Aries. Seriously, seriously, though, can I say this? Like, any real woman, yeah. and I don't know about the other two girls there, but any real woman will know if there's pre-cum there. She don't have to swipe it exactly. yeah. across that. It's, so it's obvious. I know the case of pre-cum. I don't know, but that's just me. Um, but, yeah. like, like. Uh, what's your name? I apologize. You said the thing about give us the warning. Um, right. And don't don't hold your hold our head there. Really. I mean, come on. All right. And then uh, yeah, exactly. we're gonna get three two zero five eight three on the line. On the mood to swallow, and then sometimes I right. am. So all depends on if you're drinking your fluids or not. <laughs> three two zero <laughs> right. five eight three on the air. Uh, hi, hi. This is Lincoln Brenton. How's it going? It's going hi, good, Lincoln. buddy. Hi, hey, Lincoln. Good to hear from you guys. Hi, Cheryl. How's it going? Happy birthday, sweetheart. Thank you. Spectacular. Well, now, I heard I was listening in on the, uh, the the whole show here. Actually, we've got an entire living room full of people. We set up the stereo. I'm outside right now with my dog. But uh, we were listening in. I have to say, actually, that I'm not quite as offended usually by the female scent. And I think any guy that really is just kind of lacks part of the primordial, like, drive it is to smell the scent. Like, as it is, I've had several female strong. friends who have had issues downstairs where, like, they had something wrong or had something going on. And it's like, honestly, like, I'm not going to lie, the scent's a turn on, almost regardless of how how, how violent no, it may seem to some. Like, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, but if you go down there and you lick and it feels like toothpaste is on your lips and there's a funky mm -hmm. smell, that's... That's not oh, good. No, 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 no. <laughs> I earned my Red Wings years ago. Many, many years ago, I earned my Red Wings. I'm not really concerned if there's anything going on down there that seems really strange. And I really think, like, I understand some guys get grossed out. Or... I don't know yeah, if we lost the caller. I don't know if we lost the check. I'm sorry, can you hear me? I, still? I, I have no problem with earning Red Wings, but I draw the line at East. And severe infections. I'm I'm off of that. <laughs> yeah, I probably haven't actually ever experienced that. Like I, I don't think that I've ever wound up to that. I had no idea. Oh, that didn't take care I get of what you're saying. That point. Yeah, it's rare. I've only I think I've had it once, and it was what? It's like wow. How do you not know? I had a female friend of mine, and I won't name any names, and it's certainly not Cheryl by any means, and this girl actually takes oh, this, she's you. the one of the most <laughs> high-maintenance females that I've ever met in my life, and she's an adorable, amazing woman, but this girl wound up getting intoxicated and ended up having to go into the doctor because she forgot her thing in there. And she forgot her tampon. Yes, oh my God. Totally and this yeah. girl, this yeah, girl is like a, a really close friend of mine. I actually, she took and shoved my head into the crotch of her pants when she had pants on, and she was like, no, it is funky smell. But for me, the yeah. problem is it still smelled good, and I was like, well, hon, I don't know. It smells like you are moist and ready to go. And she was like, no, this is not good. This is wrong. There's something wrong down there. And I was like, well, I guess you know your body better than I do, sweetheart. So I don't know. Like, I know that there can be a line. Like, I'm pretty sure because her, her – Male friend at the time was like, no, 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 there's definitely something wrong down there, bud. Your your nose is not operating too far, which, like I said, <laughs> could be the case. Like I said, I long ago decided that that smell was something that got me dry, that drives me. And so it really didn't matter too much about anybody's real discretion. I personally, I, I'm not a, a big fan. I, I can't stand. I really prefer if they're going to get ahead, it's got to be spontaneous. Like, it's got to be, otherwise there's no drive, there's no will to it, like, there's just no interest to it for me. Like, if I'm going to go to bed with a girl, the last thing I really want her doing is going down on me. I hate to, like, say it, but I'm at that point in my life where if I get off once, we're, like, hoping and praying for a round two. Like, and we got to have a miracle. Like, thank God for Viagra 
I swear to God, I'm going to the doctor and asking yeah. for something. I try every year. Yeah, what do you got to tell him? I mean, does that, hey, this is like a health show. Do you know what you have to tell your doctor to try to get it? Because like, I'm you know, if you, if you him, want a, a natural, <laughs> if you want a natural Viagra, because I'm all about helping people with natural solutions, go to Walmart or Target and look for a vitamin called niacin. It's actually a supplement, but look for niacin because that will naturally cause erections without having to pay for Viagra. Are you taking like an IV, like you get shots of it? What's that? Oh, like, I'm can just I wondering how extreme in? of a. Yeah, go for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize, but um, I'm gonna throw something in here right now. This is for all the ladies on out there. If you're going down on the guy and you plan to have sex okay. with the guy, don't get him off while you're going down on head. That's all I gotta say. Because yeah, gotta, it's not just you, you Lincoln. Done. It's not just you. It's many guys. Like, I'm sorry. If I'm planning to um, have my fun, and there's been very, very few guys that I know that can get off, keep it hard, and keep going. And that's just from my experience. Thank you. And, <laughs> I, I, and I, will, I will share. I've been with 13 guys, and let me tell you, it's, well, it's the same it's thing let down, every but time. I think I think it's been only one guy that can actually keep going. So, but you know, um, sometimes you just gotta do it for the sheer um, surprise exactly. and pleasure, just it's, to do something for him. Way. You know, exactly. it's, I mean, it's just a really little, a special surprise in the car in the morning is yeah. never a bad thing. And then you exactly. wipe your mouth and you get out of the car and say, "See you later." It's exactly funny. you know, go along for the ride. It's not about wow. who can get off the most. It's really not. And for me, if the guy's enjoying the head and whatnot, that's good enough for me. Um, I really, that's my personal opinion on it. I mean, I don't know I'm what you guys think. I'm in the same boat, actually. I totally agree, because for me, to be completely honest, like the last thing I'm usually driving at, especially out of anything that's going to be like, short term, like if especially if it gets anywhere near a one night stand, like I'm really not interested in having sex at that point because you don't know exactly who it is or what's going on. I'd personally rather just go down on them, get their rocks off, life goes on. Everybody's happy and there really wasn't as much effort, like I'm sorry if I'm a little lazy, I'm old enough to be lazy. And it's still not all that bad because at the same time they got there, you know, and I personally, I, know. I can get up every time when I go down on a chick, like that's not even a problem. I'm going to tell you right now, there are some dudes out there that are just straight up retarded. Um, they try to get with you, and they're not subtle about it whatsoever. They're, like, pushing you down there. And it's like, really? I have a good friend who's not subtle at all. I mean, it's so irritating, and it's like, I don't even want to do that. I'm not no even going to do that. Cause, I mean, you're, you're like a child. There, but no shit. Yeah, do not direct me down there. I know the direction how to get down there. I don't need your help. And if you're going to be a real big irritating pest about it, I mean, grow up. It's just not even hot at that point. Like, when no, I go, no, no, no. I love like it. I love it. I? I think it's the most beautiful mm -hmm. thing uh -huh. in the world. I, just, yeah, I don't sure. worship the male penis. I'm serious. I'm a total, I love male penis. But... And on that note, this is completely why we have to get back to two hour shows today. I want to extend my special thanks to all the guests that were on the show today. Really enjoyed everybody calling in. Um, and if you did call in today, we normally have two hour shows that come on at 2 a.m., but I think we're going to be switching probably. Jesse, what do you think? One o'clock? I, I have no idea. What do we decide on? I don't know. I think, you know, like midnight, one o'clock, because, you know, I don't know. I kind of like, like the bewitching midnight hour. All but right. We'll do midnight. Midnight. Yeah, you got it. Midnight it'll be. Yeah, I love midnight. All right. So from midnight, uh, that'd be 2 o'clock will be on the air. And uh, thanks to everybody again. And you can go to thegigapig.com to get links to all of our special guests around today. And happy birthday to Cheryl. See your party tomorrow. Store, don't get... Oh, yeah, we got an Amazon store on there and T-shirts. Uh -huh. So just go to thegigapig.com and we'll hook you up. Yep. Hey, good night, Courtney. Happy weekend. And you're happy listening birthday. to The Dr. John Show on Blog Talk Radio. Very sexy.